We have two gold mine tamarins in the exhibit. We have a male and a female, and their names are Belle and Davy. You can tell the difference between our male and female because our female has a shorter tail and our male has a full tail. So in the wild, you cannot tell the difference. If you were to see them, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the male and the female. Gold lion tamarins are endemic to Brazil, which is coastal South America, the Atlantic coastal forest. Uh, unfortunately, in the wild, they're now endangered. But thanks to conservation projects and a collaborative effort between Brazil and the U.S.'s own American Zoo Association, the numbers are getting much better. They're fed twice a day, and they actually get a really specialized diet called calatrica gel. And it basically looks like uh, a lighter colored brownie. It's a, it's a mix that we mix together with hot water, we let it set, and it has all of their daily nutritional needs in that actual diet. But just like you and I don't like to eat the same thing every day, we do um, supplement their diet with a lot of different things. Out in the wild, they would be eating a significant portion of fruit. So here we chop up uh, specialized fruits for them. Fruits they really like are sweet fruits like we like. Also insects. Uh, tamarins are a very specialized primate, as in they are specialized to find and eat insects. If you look at their hands, they actually have really long fingers, significantly longer than any other primate. And what they're used for is for actually digging in the bark of trees to get out grubs, insects, crickets, those kinds of things. So we feed them lots of insects here. They get a wide variety of stuff. Um, so they have a really interesting diet. It's different than everyone else's and it's very specialized to our tamarins. We train primarily husbandry behaviors and those are behaviors that we use to take care of the animals. So Belle is currently working on being trained to come to a target so that if the vets need to look at her, she'll come right over and present herself. And we also train them to come in in the evening and also if there's ever any danger, to come in immediately to us so we can make sure that they're safe at all times. Now we train using what's called positive reinforcement. So that means that every behavior we ask the monkeys to do, they do voluntarily. We never make the monkeys do anything. It's always their choice. And we always reward them for doing what we ask. Our goals for Bell and Davy are to be ambassadors for their species and ambassadors for other endangered species, which will hopefully inspire the public when they get an opportunity to come into our exhibit to see animals that they would not otherwise be able to see and inspire them to take conservation action on their own.